Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, in each of the following exercises 10 to 20, find the equation for the ellipse that satisfies the given condition. Eleventh one is, vertices are given by 0, comma, plus minus 13 and foci is 0, comma, plus minus 5. Now by the definition of ellipse, we know that it is the set of all the points in a plane, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points in a plane is constant. So first let us draw an ellipse whose major axis is along the y-axis. Suppose this is an ellipse whose major axis is along the y-axis. So here, AB denotes the major axis of the ellipse and CD denotes the minor axis of the ellipse and A and B are the vertices of the ellipse and these two denotes the foci of the ellipse and the standard equation of ellipse in the case when the major axis is along the y axis is given by x square upon b square plus y square upon a square is equal to 1 and a is the length of semi-major axis, therefore 2a is equal to the major axis and b is the length of semi-minor axis, therefore 2b is equal to the length of minor axis. And the vertices of the ellipse whose major axis is along the y-axis are given by 0, comma plus minus a and its foci is given by 0, comma plus minus c. So with the help of these ideas, we shall find the equation of the ellipse. So this is our key idea. Let's now start with the solution. So here we are given the vertices 0, comma plus minus 13 and the foci as 0, comma plus minus 5. Now we can see that the vertices as well as the foci lie on the y-axis since the coordinate of x is 0 in both the cases. Therefore, the major axis of the given ellipse is along the y-axis. Let us write it down since the vertices are on the y-axis. Therefore, the equation will be of the form x square upon b square plus y square upon a square is equal to 1 where a is the semi-major axis and b is the semi-minor axis. And here since we are given that vertices are 0, comma plus minus 13 thus on comparing We find that A is equal to 13 and since the foci is 0, comma, plus minus 5 and the foci of the standard equation of an ellipse whose major axis is along the y-axis is 0, comma, plus minus C. So this implies C is equal to 5. Now as we know, C is equal to root over A square minus B square so let us substitute the value of a and c to get the value of b. c is 5 root over 13 square minus b square. Now squaring both sides we have 25 is equal to 169 minus b square which implies that b square is equal to 169 minus 25 which is equal to 144 or b is equal to plus minus 12. Now, the standard equation of the ellipse is given by 
x square upon b square plus y square upon a square is equal to 1. So, for b is equal to plus minus 12 and a is equal to 13, the standard equation is given by x square upon plus minus 12 whole square plus y square upon 13 square is equal to 1. Or we have x square upon 144 plus y square upon 169 is equal to 1. Hence, the equation of the ellipse for which the vertices are given by 0 plus minus 13 and the foci is given by 0 comma plus minus 5 is x square upon 144 plus y square upon 169 is equal to 1. So, this completes the session. Hope you have understood it well. Take care and have a nice day.